when the external thermal effect changes with time, the internal temperature and the heat flux of the enclosure structure will change, and this heat transfer process is called unsteady heat transfer. Periodic unsteady heat transfer is called when the external thermal effect changes periodically with time. Some natural ventilation rooms and air conditioning rooms belong to this situation due to the poor thermal stability of the room with lightweight materials. Even in winter, it is necessary to consider the characteristics of unsteady heat transfer. Among the thermal effects of periodic fluctuations, the simple least and the most basic is the harmonic thermal effect, setting the sine or cosine function of temperature changes regularly with time, which is generally represented by a cosine function. However, the periodic thermal effects of the actual building envelope do not change according to the cosine function rule with time. When the calculation accuracy is not high, it can be considered approximately according to the harmonic heating effect, and the difference between the highest value of the actual temperature and the average value is taken as the amplitude, and the inner surface angle is determined according to the time when the highest value of the actual temperature occurs. When the calculation accuracy is high, the Fourier series expansion can be used, and the periodic thermal effects can be transformed into a combination of several other harmonics through harmonic analysis. Since the thermal effects of various periodic changes can be changed into the combination of harmonic thermal effects, Therefore, by studying the heat transfer process under harmonic heat, the heat transfer characteristics of enclosure structure and the room under periodic heat can be reflected. The flat ball has the following heat transfer characteristics under harmonic heat. 1. Outdoor temperature and flat ball surface temperature and the internal temperature are harmonic moments of the same circle. This can be expressed by harmonic quantities. 2. From the outdoor space to the inside of the flight ball, the temperature fluctuation amplitude gradually decreases. This phenomenon is called temperature fluctuation attenuation. The total attenuation multiple of a flight ball refers to the ratio of the outdoor temperature amplitude to the temperature amplitude of the inner surface of the flight ball caused by the thermal action of the outdoor temperature wave. 3. The phase of the temperature fluctuation is gradually delayed backward from the outside to the inside of the flight ball. This phenomenon is called the phase delay of temperature fluctuation, that is, the moment when the maximum temperature occurs is delayed. The total delay time of the flight ball refers to the difference between the time when the maximum value of the outdoor temperature appears, and the time when the maximum temperature on the inner surface of the flight ball appears. The attenuation and the delay of temperature wave in the transmission process are caused by the heat capacity of the material and the thermal resistance of the material layer in the heating and the cooling process. When the thickness of the flight ball increases, the heat capacity increases and the thermal conductivity decreases. The fluctuation amplitude of the inner surface decreases, and the delay time of the maximum value is longer. The thermal characteristic index of material and the enclosure structure under harmonic thermal effect mainly include thermal storage coefficient of material, thermal inertial index of material layer, and thermal storage coefficient of material layer surface. The heat storage coefficient of the material refers to the ratio of the heat flow amplitude received by the surface facing the view to the temperature amplitude of the surface. When the homogeneous semi-infinite flight wall is subjected to harmonic heat on one side, it is a function of the thermal conductivity, specific heat capacity, density, and the temperature fluctuation period of the material. S24 is a heat storage coefficient with a fluctuation period of 24 hours. 
the calculation of the average heat storage coefficient is used to calculate the heat storage coefficient of a layer when the layer is composed of several materials. In the formula, F1, F2, and Fn are the heat transfer areas in the layer divided parallel to the heat flow. S1, S2, and Sn are the heat storage coefficients of the materials on each heat transfer area. The heat storage coefficient of air is zero. The heat storage coefficient of a material is an index that shows the sensitivity of the surface facing the wave to the harmonic heat reaction. The larger the S value, the smaller the surface temperature fluctuation, and the better the thermal stability of the material. Since the S value is related to the fluctuation period, for the same material, the longer the fluctuation period, the smaller the S value, and the greater the temperature fluctuation of the flightable surface. The heat storage coefficient of the inner surface material of the envelope affects the relationship between the indoor air temperature and the inner surface temperature. Under ventilation conditions, the larger the S value, the more obvious the difference between room temperature and the inner surface temperature. This is because the room temperature of the ventilated room is close to the outdoor temperature, and the heat flow from the inside of the wall can keep the inner surface at a high temperature level. If the S value is small, the heat flow from the wall is small, and the heat storage of the material is also small. The inner surface temperature follows the room temperature closely. During intermittent heating or intermittent cooling, the S value also affects the change characteristics of the room temperature. When the heating system is running, the room temperature of a building with a high S value rises slowly, and when the heating system is running off, the room temperature also decreases slowly. The thermal inertial index of the material layer is a dimensionless index that characterizes the degree of attenuation of the temperature wave on the surface facing away from the wave after the material layer or envelope is subjected to wave heat. It explains that the ability of the material layer to exist temperature fluctuations depends on the wave resistance of the material layer facing the wave and the resistance of the wheel to the surface facing away from the wheel. The thermal inertial index is equal to the thermal resistance multiplied by the thermal storage coefficient. The thermal inertial index of the motor layer material is equal to the sum of the thermal inertial index of its layer. Since the heat storage coefficient of air is equal to zero, the thermal inertial index of the air space and the inner and outer surface is also zero. When a certain layer of the envelope is composed of several materials, the thermal inertial index of the layer is equal to the product of the average thermal resistance of the layer and the average heat storage coefficient. The larger the value of D, the faster the attenuation of the temperature wave, and the better the stability of the envelope structure. The attenuation factor of the temperature wave at the X layer has an exponential function relationship with the thermal inertial index. Since the actual flightable has a finite thickness, the temperature fluctuation on the surface of the material layer is not only related to the thermal physical properties of the material itself, but also to the boundary conditions, that is, in the direction along the temperature wave the thermal physical properties and the heat dissipation conditions of other materials or air compacted with this material layer are related. Therefore, the surface heat storage coefficient should be used for material layers of limited thickness. The surface heat storage coefficient referred to under the action of periodic heat when the surface temperature of an object increases or decreases by one degree the energy stored or released on a surface of 1 square meter within 1 hour. The calculation method of the surface heat storage coefficient is, according to the material layers of the envelope structure, 
pay attention to the mapping against the heat flow transfer direction and calculate layer by layer. If the thermal inertial index of a certain layer in the structure layer is greater than or equal to 1, the surface heat storage coefficient of this layer is equal to the material heat storage coefficient, and no calculation is required. For the outdoor temperature view, other layers need to be calculated, and for the indoor temperature view, the subsequent layers according to the heat flow transfer direction cannot be calculated. The formula listed here takes a four-layer wall as an example. Inside on the left, outside on the right, assuming the heat source is indoor, the inner surface heat storage, the numbers in the general formula are numbered from the reverse of the direction of heat flow transfer. The above two formulas are the formulas for calculating the attenuation model and the delay time when the outdoor temperature view propagates to the inner surface of the flight wall. In the formula, the level numbers are from the inside to the outside. The larger the attenuation factor, the greater the ability of the envelope to resist the effects of harmonic heat. The delay time can be used to calculate the thermal stability of the envelope. The following two formulas are the formulas for calculating the attenuation multiple and the delay time when the indoor temperature view propagates to the inner surface of the flight wall. Next, let's do an exercise. Find the attenuation multiple and the delay time of the outdoor temperature view from the west wall of a building to the inner surface. It is known that the internal surface heat transfer coefficient is 8.7 and the external surface heat transfer coefficient is 19. The left side of the finger is indoor and the right side is outdoor. Since the heat flow is from outside to inside, and the level number is from inside to outside. The layers from left to right are 1, 2, and 3 respectively. The 1 and 3 layer are 50 mm sink reinforced concrete, and the 2 layer are 80 mm sink rock wall board. The thermal conductivity and thermal storage coefficient of reinforced concrete are 1.74 and 17.2 respectively. The thermal conductivity and thermal storage coefficient of rock wall board are 0.064 and 0.93 respectively. The solution to this problem is as follows. First, the thermal resistance and the thermal inertial index of each layer are calculated. Then, the surface heat storage coefficient is calculated according to the temperature view from outside to inside and from inside to outside. Finally, the attenuation multiple and the delay time of outdoor temperature view propagating to the inner surface are calculated. First, according to the thermal resistance calculation formula, R1 and R3 are both 0.0287 and R2 is 1.25. According to the calculation formula of thermal inertial index, D1 and D3 are both 0 0.49, both less than 1. D2 is 1.163, greater than 1, and the sum is equal to 2.143. Then, Y1E and Y3E are calculated according to the temperature view from outside to inside. Y2E is equal to S2 because D2 is greater than 1. Y2E in the delay time calculation formula is Y3E on the surface facing the view. Y1I is calculated according to the temperature view from inside to outside. Yi in the delay time calculation formula is Y1I on the surface facing the view. Y2I does not need to be calculated because D2 is greater than 1, which is equal to S2, since Y3I belongs to the layer after D is greater than 1 when calculated by indoor view. It is not necessary to calculate. Finally, the above calculation results are substituted into the calculation formula of attenuation multiple and delay time. The attenuation multiple is 27.58 times, and the delay is 5.28 hours.
you can follow this example to calculate the tenure ascent multiple and the delay time of the indoor temperature view transmitted to the inner surface of the wall. You can also use this method to try to design a passive house and think about how to simplify such a tedious calculation.